Hi, welcome to the point of view stories for the wedding. Today we're going to hear the same story from the wedding mini story lesson, and we're going to hear it in four different points of view this time. Okay, let's get started. Freddy the Fork and Sarah the Spoon live together in New York. Freddy and Sarah are getting married. Pretty much all of Sarah's friends come to the wedding. But her Aunt Patty doesn't make it. Two days before the wedding, Sarah's mother and father fly to New York from London. Their flight makes it in on time. Sarah's father is old-fashioned. He doesn't want Sarah to live with Freddie before they get married. Freddie and Sarah do not have a lot of money, so they have a do-it-yourself wedding. Freddie and Sarah cook all of the food, and Sarah's mother makes the wedding dress. It is a lot of work, but it is worth it. Freddie and Sarah get married at the beach. They are worried it is going to rain, but the weather cooperates. After they get married, Sarah's father is happy because Freddie has made an honest woman of her. Okay, so as you can see, we just heard the story told as if it is happening right now, or in the present, as we say. Now let's tell the story as if it has already happened two years ago. Okay, here we go. Two years ago, Freddy the Fork and Sarah the Spoon lived together in New York. Freddy and Sarah got married. Pretty much all of Sarah's friends came to the wedding, but her Aunt Patty didn't make it. Two days before the wedding... Sarah's mother and father flew to New York from London. Their flight made it in on time. Sarah's father was old-fashioned. He did not want Sarah to live with Freddie before they got married. Freddie and Sarah did not have a lot of money, so they had a do-it-yourself wedding. Freddie and Sarah cooked all of the food, and Sarah's mom made the wedding dress. It was a lot of work, but it was worth it. Freddie and Sarah got married at the beach. They were worried it was going to rain, but the weather cooperated. After they got married, Sarah's father was happy, because Freddie had made an honest woman of her. Okay, so we just heard the story told as if it happened two years ago. Now we're going to tell the story as if it is happening in the future. So we will think of the story two years from now. Here we go. Two years from now, Freddie the Fork and Sarah the Spoon will live together in New York. Freddie and Sarah will get married. Pretty much all of Sarah's friends will come to the wedding, but her Aunt Patty will not make it. Two days before the wedding, Sarah's mother and father are going to fly to New York from London. Their flight will make it in on time. Sarah's father is going to be old-fashioned. He will not want Sarah to live with Freddie before they get married. Freddie and Sarah will not have a lot of money, so they'll have a do-it-yourself wedding. Freddie and Sarah are going to cook all of the food, and Sarah's mother is going to make the wedding dress. It's going to be a lot of work, but it will be worth it. Freddie and Sarah are going to get married at the beach. They'll worry it is going to rain, but the weather will cooperate. After getting married... Sarah's father is going to be happy because Freddie will have made an honest woman of her. Okay, so that's the end of this version of the story, the version in which the story is in the future. Notice that instead of saying something like, they will worry, we can shorten it by saying, they'll worry. 
This is more like what we would say in spoken conversation. But in a textbook, you're more likely to see they will instead of they'll. You also probably notice that sometimes instead of saying going to, we might say gonna, which is more like spoken English as well. All right, let's hear the story from Sarah's point of view now. So this will be the story as it would be told if Sarah was actually telling it. Here we go. Freddy the Fork and I live in New York. Freddy and I got married. Pretty much all of my friends came to the wedding. But my Aunt Patty didn't make it. Two days before the wedding, my mother and father flew to New York from London. Their flight made it in on time. My father was old-fashioned. He did not want me to live with Freddy before we got married. Freddy and I did not have a lot of money, so we had a do-it-yourself wedding. Freddy and I cooked all of the food, and my mother made the wedding dress. It was a lot of work, but it was worth it. Freddy and I got married at the beach. We were worried it was going to rain, but the weather cooperated. After we got married, my father was happy because Freddy had made an honest woman of me. All right, so that is the end of the point of view stories for the lesson, The Wedding. Now it's time to listen to each version again. After you listen to one version, then try to tell the story yourself. If you can't, it's okay. Just relax. Go back, listen to it again, and then see if you can tell the story. You can listen to it as many times as you need to until you feel comfortable. Just relax, take your time, and learn the stories deeply. Okay, that's all for now. See you next time. Hi, this is Kristen Dodds. And this is Joe Weiss, and we just wanted to let you know that this material has been copyrighted in the year 2009 by Learn Real English, LLC, www.learnrealenglish.com.